Hey y'all, and thank you so much for stopping by our gray house. My name is Lisa, and I wanna first explain how today's video even came to be about. So my sister texted me, she said, this is cute, you should make it. I looked at the video and I said, you're right, it is cute, I will make it, so I did. So I went to Dollar Tree, got most of the items. I think I, the only thing I got from Hobby Lobby was the burlap, and I got that on sale. So I was like, whoa, that was a good thing, right? And it really cost me, I think, one, two, less than $5 to make. So that's not bad at all. But anyway, basically what I'm doing in today's video is um, recreating a wreath that I saw on Julie's Wreath Boutique. Julie's, I had to like say that several times before I taped this because I'm like, Julie's Wreath, I, just, I was messing it up. Julie's Wreath Boutique. And of course, I will link that video in the description box below so that you guys can check it out as well. And if you do, and if you comment over there, tell her that um, Lisa from Our Gray House said, hey girl, hey. <laughs> she doesn't know me, but it's okay. Um, so, if you also, if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and um, comment, share, subscribe, tell all your friends. I don't know. Let's get crafting. We're going to take these two pumpkin shaped wire wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. If they're a little bit hard to come by right now, so um, if I can find them at the Dollar Tree online, I'll link those in the description box below. But we're going to put this orange burlap. I just got this at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale and it's 29 inches across. It's 20 inches up and down and that is just a little bit less than a yard. So you don't even need a full yard in order to do this. And if you buy this like from the fabric store, you're gonna get enough by just buying one yard, you're gonna get enough to do easily two wreaths if you'd like. So then we're gonna set this on top, trying to line everything up. I'm just trying to keep things tight as possible and then pushing down a little bit. Now, um, tricky part is to get these to keep these together, I'm gonna to be using these zip ties that I got from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna be, I'm gonna start, let's see, oh gosh. I'm gonna start on this end. And You want to get as close to the two forms together as possible because you want a really tight, um, really tight fit there. Now that's just to kind of get us started. I'm actually going to do the rest of them underneath, although it doesn't really matter. But now I'm going to flip it around, make sure the fabric is pulled tight get another zip tie. These come, um, I just put the small ones, but um, they have smaller ones in black, but I just thought I'd use the red first. Now we're gonna go right here where the two, where the stems are, stem is. So putting the zip ties in the burlap and getting those wire frames close together is not as easy as it looks, but it does feel like it gets easier as I do it. So you've got it like that. We're gonna put zip ties also over here on this side, here, 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 and then again on the other side. So that's just what I'm gonna work on now. Like I said, it does get a little bit easier and I'll clean up those ends in just a sec. Take our little snippers. Make those ends off. So now it should look like this. And we just need to trim, leaving about this much all the way around. You have to be careful with burlap because you can kind of tear it uh, a little bit easier, but just snip around and be careful. So now we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna start gluing down the wreath form. And so I have a little trick for you. 
you can buy these silicone makeup brushes you can buy there's a version of it at the Dollar Tree I've never seen one before but you can buy a set of let's see one two three four five six seven I think there's eight I don't know where the other one is but it's different shapes and sizes so I thought I bought this they basically ended up being a dollar piece I'll leave a link in the description box below but I thought well you know if I've got like a little spot bigger spot you know just different size brushes it can't hurt they were seven dollars so it was basically or eight dollars so it's basically a dollar piece um, but like I said I'll find the link and I'll put it in the description box below so here's a little tip for you I'm gonna need to put in a new um, what do you call it? Glue stick. <laughs> we don't need to put in a new glue stick. So one thing that you can do to kind of ease the transition and you can just kind of put a little bit of glue here. Stick it in. And voila. Now, we're gonna turn this over and we're gonna start gluing this part down. And we're just gonna go around and that's where this little tool is going to come in handy because it's going to help us hold it down for a bit so we don't burn our fingers. And then I'm just going to probably put some binder clips just to kind of help secure it. So I recommend putting the glue on the metal part here and just going around piece by piece. No rush. This isn't a race. Just make sure you do it and do it as neatly as possible. Now you don't really need the the fabric by the stem because we're going to be doing something else with the stem so I just kind of cut down like that so it'll it'll stay down I'm gonna use one of these little binder clips just to hold it for a second then I'll take it off just adding glue again on the actual wire part because it's burlap <laughs> you can easily burn yourself so please be careful trying very hard not to burn myself. I'm gonna use that little tool, that little silicone tool to help press down while the glue's adhering so I don't burn myself. And just go all the way around. Now I'm just working in small little sections, taking my time, trying not to overdo it with the glue. You have to be careful. See, um, some of the glue is oozing out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So just be careful you don't overdo it with the glue. I can tell that I'm overdoing it a little bit. So calm down with the glue, Lisa. Calm down. Now, this part is extra. I'm just, I've taken a piece of, piece of a tree, a limb off a tree, a small limb. And I cut it down to that size. I also cut it in half. Here's the other half. I'm doing two wreaths actually. So these went together, cut them in half, and this is going to be what is going to be my stem. And I am going to outline it in rope so this, this part like right here is not going to show as much. But I'm just going to glue it down in the center there. So now we're going to glue this and I'm just going to put glue here, here, and here. I hope it sticks. Well, that's kind of setting. I'm actually gonna take some Dollar Tree rope. And this is one um, package of it. And it should do the whole, the whole shebang. And I'm gonna start at the top and right at the base here. And see, I have like a little bit of room here, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that. but. Um, I'm just going to start gluing around like that. Ordinarily in this section here, I would kind of cut the, the rope at an angle, but since I need to fill in that spot anyway, I'm not going to worry about it as much. So just taking hot glue, little sections at a time, going completely around the pumpkin and attaching the rope. Pretty cute. Okay. So I need to, some of these little tie things, I need to try to see if I can't snip them a little closer. Now it's time to embellish it. And I think I got almost all of these at the Dollar Tree. And 
you can do really anything you want. You can, you know, put some yellow there, yellow sunflowers. You can put you know, a couple of these flowers there just to kind of make a pop of color. You could do, you know, a couple of these at the top. I kind of think I want these just because I think it brightens it up a lot. Although, what do you think? I don't know. I think that I think this one blends in too much. I wanted something that kind of pops out a little bit. That looks almost too summery to me. I don't know. If we did like a few of these right here and then maybe one of these bows. These I got at the Dollar Tree again and I saw the exact same pattern of material at Hobby Lobby and it was not a dollar. I can tell you that it's not a dollar. So I could leave this on and just, and maybe I will, maybe I'll just adhere it. I'm trying to see if it's going to look how that's going to look. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. This looks just too muted and this is like pop of color. What if I didn't use those and used, went back to that other color. That's more muted. I don't think you see it as much. And I kind of want it to pop out a little bit. I may have to find another ribbon to put right here that's more fall-ish. Let's work on the flowers though. I think I'm gonna put those flowers there. I think that'll look cute. So I'm putting on the bow and trying to decide which flowers I want. I really like the yellow flowers. I feel like they pop, but I do want the other colors in there as well. So just taking off a couple flowers, adding them to one side, and then I need to add a few flowers to the other side because I feel like it just looks a little bit plain with just the bow there. So I'll add some more flowers and I've got a little helper. I always seem to have a helpers in my videos, <laughs> but that's Captain and um, he's a good helper. So I am now attaching the back, just some jute twine so that I can hang it up or that my sister can hang it up because it's actually for my sister. And I think it turned out pretty good. I'm just going to add this little thankful metal word. <laughs> I got it in a three pack at Dollar Tree and it came with thankful, harvest, and welcome. Thank y'all for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. You know what to do. You know what to do by now. If you're watching YouTube, you probably know what to do. So if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.